So here we are in the kitchen, I guess. Bakery, probably better termed. Yeah, right? buttery risen dough kitchen. Buttery so risen dough. dough. That's a little wordy. Didn't fit yeah. on a plaque. <laughs> <laughs> here at Waffle Me Up in downtown Boise. Now this is Hector and his lovely wife. Josie. Josie, odds, yes, that one. And what they're doing right now is they're rolling the dough. They actually weigh it. Why do you weigh it? Well, so it could be precise. Okay. We do want everybody sure. to get the exact same size. Sure. You know, we don't want mismatched sizes. You don't going want through one guy coming out with like a big old waffle. No, we don't guy want like one guy with one waffle stick. like this and one waffle like that. We want everybody to enjoy their waffle and have a nice, uh, fulfilling waffle. So she's weighing it. Yes. You're rolling it. Yes. What are the little lumps of white that so, are sticking out? So those little lumps of light that you see actually are called pearl sugars. They're imported from Belgium. Oh, they, sure. act, they actually caramelize um, in the waffle when I press them in the European waffle irons. So why waffles? Um, waffles. Of all the things, so, waffles. So I have some friends tell me about this waffle and I was like not one bit interested until they told me it was the Liège waffle. The buttery risen dough waffle. Liège. 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 Or the sugar waffle. Okay, sugar so, waffle. So, right. sugar waffle because of those little sugars caramelizing around the waffle. Sure. So I was not one bit interested until I saw what, the, what you could do with this waffle and what it tasted like. Um, so, you know, it's buttery risen, you, you press it into waffle iron, it caramelizes with a crunchy exterior, and then you have like more of an airy, chewy inside. Yeah. So it's just, and then you could do a sweet or savory waffle with it. You could throw a cheese, an egg, or you could just put your favorite fruits on top of it. Well, that's one of the things I think is so unusual too, is one of the many options you have here is the bob, which is becoming very famous. Yes, good old. What is it, bacon, omelet, is that? No, so, 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 so we got a bob, which is bacon, organic syrup, and basil. Okay. So, so that's my basic. And right. then you want bob, deluxe, you're gonna add the egg, and you're gonna add the Havarti cheese, and then you're gonna add the, the crumbled bacon, drizzled with real maple syrup, and uh, topped off with basil. Now, I don't think most people would think to put bacon and eggs on a waffle, which is funny, because if you think about people's breakfast, they often have a waffle yeah. with bacon and eggs. Yeah. They just don't stack it. Yeah, you so just we, stacked it. Yeah, we just stack it because, and, it, and so the waffle's kind of crunchy, and so what happens is with the sugary, salty, uh, sweet, uh, there are little layers of happiness bursting. <laughs> uh, um, I love how you always refer to them as joy or happiness. Yeah, oh, uh, that's what, you know, so customers actually came up to me and said, oh, this is like a little burst of happiness or layers of flavor flowing yeah, through, yeah, totally. through, 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 through my bites, you know. And, and they're all handmade. I mean, I all, think that, what do you call it when they're handmade? Artesian? Handmade? Uh, artisan? Artisan. Artisan. Yes, yeah, artisan. artisan. So they're, there you art go. they're artisan. Yeah, yeah, artisan waffles. There's yeah. your there's your next or sales handmade. pitch. Handmade, yeah. yeah, handmade. What do you ever call them? There's no uh, machine here doing it for me. I'm doing all fresh rolls. So yeah, that's what's amazing about the waffles here too. You can, I, I'm telling you, you can eat this waffle like a donut. You oh, wouldn't you even, can. It's it's even better with stuff on it. Oh yeah. But you could take the waffle and eat it like a donut. And I was telling my wife, I don't like waffles. Yeah. I don't. But I come here because I like these waffles. Yeah. Wow, and I'm, you know what's been fascinating is as you guys are doing this, I'm watching those rise. Oh yeah. You, you they're see, getting taller and taller Yeah, and they're taller. getting taller. As you could see, you see that, you see how those little pearl sugars are mm -hmm. in there? Yeah. See how they're in there? So do they that, burst? Th Will they eventually burst inside? They'll actually melt down. They're melting oh, they down melt just down, a little sure. bit down. Can you see that? Mm -hmm, right so, over there. Yeah, and you see how, so I, that's, this is perfection right here because the dough itself is silky. And so here's another thought that this brings to me is not only is this going to create a caramelization, but it's actually making its own little like chambers. Is that what helps the, the waffle be air well, more so airy? Well, so the, the, no, the yeast is what makes the it more yeast airy. yeast is making it, okay. Yeah, so those will melt down in the waffle iron, but those actually just caramelize, give it that nice little flavor. And so that's why people love this waffle because it's fully flavored. You know, because look how silky that. Uh, oh, yeah. See how that, look at how silky that oh, looks. Oh, yeah. It's just like. I mean, yeah. the best way I can describe it is it's like butter. Yeah, it's like uh, silky. No pun intended. Like no. it's silky and smooth, yeah, like the silky consistency and it's of butter. Whole to get, this is like a perfect dough ball right here. Which so. explains why they taste so good. Yeah. I had Bob's Deluxe, and it was my first time having this. So it was like a mixture of bacon, syrup, basil, egg on your waffle. Amazing. I had the strawberry waffle supreme. I don't know what it's called, but it's yummy. <laughs> I thought it was really good. I got the Bob Deluxe. Just how I imagined waffles when I was a little child growing up. 
All right. Waffle me strawberry for Travis. My gosh, that awesome. looks amazing. Enjoy that. Let me know if you need anything else. I totally will. Thank awesome. you. Look at this. This My is pleasure. the waffle. What'd you call waffle it? Waffle me strawberry. Waffle me strawberry. You got Nutella strawberry, chocolate. Chocolate from uh, Chocolate Bar right up the street here. Shavings of a real chocolate and a little raspberry coolie right on there. Uh, handmade from uh, Brent Southcombe, renowned chef from Australia. And some, some maple syrup. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, there we go. Enjoy. There we go. I am so excited. I've yeah. wanted to try this one. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> it's not a waffle. There's yeah. a donut on crack, man. Yeah. <laughs> hey, can you get him some water, honey? That is outstanding. Yeah, yeah isn't it great? Every yeah. single time I have this, I am shocked how good <laughs> yeah. they are. Yeah. It's a donut. It's yeah. not it's not like any waffle you've ever had. Yeah, and they come out fresh and hot. So oh, that's yeah. the thing. And totally. then caramelized, warm exterior warm interior, crunchy exterior. Uh, I you know, like I've said many times before, a little taste of Taste heaven. of heaven. A little taste of heaven, a little burst of happiness happened all at once. So. Oh, all at once, man. Yeah. This is incredible. If you want to know more about Waffle Me Up, check out lovewhereyoulivetv.com. Just search Waffle Me Up.